So here's my water capture. It's, um, I got 10 hooked up in series. It's kind of a flaky, flaky connection. It's not the best way of doing it. It's just to see uh, how high I can go. And Right now I just had them shorted out, but that's about where it's at. 0.740 volts. Um, but yeah. I'm just seeing where I can go with this. I figured with my calculations, I figured about I need about five, maybe more volts to get LED to light up. But yep, here's it. Here it is. The voltage. It's because of the connection. It's kind of a uh, flaky reading, but that's about where it is. And through my findings, is that capacitors, any really capacitor, especially electrolytic, pretty much only electrolytic. Uh, have a voltage bounce back after a short. You short it out, there's a voltage gain back, and I figured that these pretty much are just like these water cap treads. Uh, the capacitors have uh, aluminum strips in these, and these have aluminum strips. This is uh, their plates, which are aluminum strips, are uh, put into a liquid. These two are put into a liquid. When this is shorted out, it'll bounce back in voltage. I mean, this is shorted out. This will bounce back in voltage. Um, but yeah, yeah, I figured these are pretty much the same. And this might be the reason why we're seeing self-charging in the cap treads and capacitors. It's because these aluminum that's inside of them is uh, acting like a water battery um, causing voltage. And that's why we see these voltage show up. And the case on this capacitor too is aluminum. And that's why it works as a cap tread. And with these cups, I can add another negative strip into here and get another voltage reading off of it to make it a cap track. I can also get multiple negative leads in here to have a, a more cap track effect, each negative lead producing its own voltage. So I think that might be the reason why uh, capacitors self-charge is because they themselves are batteries, actually water batteries. But the thing is, they're capacitors first, because the liquid they use is more of a dielectric. So it is, even though it's a liquid, it's somewhat going to give you bounce back voltage, and but it's capacitor first, battery second. And these water cap treads are battery first, capacitor second. So, so yeah, it's come through my findings that capacitors are actually batteries because of the fact they have two plates in there, two silver metals which are aluminum, merged into a, put into a fluid, and that causes a voltage for some odd reason. And usually with water batteries it has to be two dissimilar metals, but apparently not anymore. I long as you it's, uh, I know it works for aluminum, it doesn't work for zinc. Zinc does not work. It also works for brass. As no other, as those, are, those are the only other metals I've tried. But yep. Well, uh, capacitors, cap traps, and these water cap traps are, are pretty much batteries. Is how you set them up. Is how they'll be affected. But yep, that's what I've come to find out. And if voltage is raised up a little bit, 0 0.82, 0 0.830, whatever. Uh, that's about the voltage. The connections are flaky, so yeah. And I've come to find out these actually work better when shorted out for long periods of time. So. That's why I call it water cap tread. It's a capacitor and electric. So, and you use water as a dielectric. Um, but yeah, that's what if I, I come to find out. Capacitors are actually batteries, and that's why you're seeing these self charging that's going on in these cap tread circuits because it's just a battery. The battery adding more voltage. As to why they produce the voltage, I don't know. I really don't know. It, I don't know where the excess power is coming from. Uh, I don't know why aluminum, aluminum reacts with itself when immersed into water. Um, the water is clear as it's day. I put it in there. The aluminum plates are still brand new, looking clean. And it's like there's no effect on them. Like usually with water batteries, you usually see rusting and the water will turn green or something. But not these. These these just stay like brand new condition. I, I really don't understand it why it happened, but it does happen. And yeah. Water battery and water cap tread and cap tread and capacitors are pretty much all the same.
There you have it.